This article contains affiliate links, we will receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more warning, this article contains spoilers from Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story Netflix's costume drama Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story has landed with the show serving up a slice of fictional drama, drawing on real-life figures. The program paints a fictional picture of the marriage of Queen Charlotte, played by India Amartifio, and King George III, Cory Mile Priest. However, some audience members are curious to know more about the real-life aspect of the Bridgerton spin-off show including what exactly afflicted King George III, considering he appeared to be having manic periods and anxiety in the show. What was wrong with King George III? Contrary to former theories, King George III didn't suffer from a blood disorder called porphyria, a popular hypothesis presented in the 1960s and even depicted in Alan Bennett's 1991 play The Madness of King George III. The proponents of porphyria later had their theory debunked and Professor Roberts said, and it wasn't this at all what it really was, and the medical science is pretty much overwhelming in supporting the idea that he had manic depression, bipolar affective type A. He has it on some four occasions and they get longer and longer until the last 11 years of his life were spent very severely ill and then for the last nine years of his life he had to be essentially locked up at Windsor Castle in the rooms in the North House. Professor Roberts said 18th century medicine at the time didn't help the regent either with common treatments including bloodletting and using leeches and blistering the skin in what was known as getting cupped. By the end of his life, King George III went blind, deaf and was suffering from Alzheimer's disease. So it was a pretty terrible end for him, poor man he said. He is a very fine man and a decent king. Don't miss Dottim a celebrity stars picking up on Carol Verderman's fakeness, latest Janice Dickinson and Andy Wyman in Fiery Showdown, update Timmerdale's charity gets ultimate revenge on Chloe and Mac, theory, get Netflix plus Sky TV channels plus BT TV box for just £6 £20 £1 view deal BT is offering new and existing customers the chance to get a Netflix subscription, worth £6. 99, and a now entertainment membership, worth £9. 99, with its popular BT TV box for just £1 per month. 24 month contract, no setup fee, £20 after first six months. King George III's last major attack came in 1810 after his jubilee, but he didn't die until 1920 with the last decade of his life leaving the monarch in a debilitating state. Addressing his symptoms, Professor Roberts said, but it did mean that the king would talk to trees and on one occasion mistook a tree for the king of Prussia and had a conversation but in fact it was one of the trees in Windsor Great Park. He would attack people suddenly. He had to be put in a straight jacket for long periods of time and at one point he was attached to a chair that was nailed to the floor. Eventually, King George III was looked after by Dr. Francis Willis and his children, who opted for a less harsh form of treatment which involved going for long walks to wear him out. According to Professor Roberts, King George III suffered his first episode after 51 in 1788 but the historian believed the monarch may have had an earlier one. Not all historians agree with me and so it's not definitely proven but the one we're definitely certain of is the one in 1788, he said. Much like Queen Charlotte depicts, the royal couple had a loving relationship, a very happy marriage, 15 children, 13 lived to old age. They had a very happy and loving and obviously with 15 children, a fairly physical relationship. 
with Professor Robert Sadding, his home life was very happy. Charlotte was a great woman, a huge philanthropist, spoke several languages. The poor woman had to marry six hours after having met him for the first time. It's a story that turns into a genuine love match. Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story is streaming on Netflix now George III, The Life and Reign of Britain's Most Misunderstood Monarch by Andrew Roberts is available to buy now.